Okay, fifth graders, here we go with uh, six dash six. This is the last section. Um, and actually, I don't have my book with me. Uh, I think this was the last section of chapter six, but I'm not positive. Anyways, um, let's look at the first example they give us here. Um, it says, Miss, Miss Watson is mixing green paint for her art class. She combines uh, full bottles of blue, yellow, and white paint. How many eight fluid ounce jars can she fill? Use reasoning to decide. So here's the three quantities here, 34.6, 34.6, and 24.4. And um, I can, let's see here, I don't need to go through B here. So, I mean, I think most of you should recognize that we're going to have to add up all three, which is essentially what they, they do here. And, and then you're going to divide it by what? Divide it by eight. And you're going to end up with 11.7 uh, from the looks of it. So 11.7. Um, well, it says how many eight fluid ounce jars can she fill? And so if you divide it by eight, it looks like 11.7. So it's 11 that she can fill and 0.7 or 70% of, of another. And then, um, let's see here, the convince me, let's take a look at that here. Um, it says, Miss Watson is mixing 34.6 fluid ounces of red paint, 18.2 yellow to make orange. How many 12 fluid ounce jars can she fill? So again, you're gonna what? Be adding up these two, and then it looks like you'll divide it by two. I'm sorry, you'll divide it by 12. And then you'll know how many jars she can fill. Okay. Um, guided practice. Let's take a look. All about paint. It was interesting. I didn't take any screenshots, but um, I was looking up the most expensive paint, you know, house paint in the world. And uh, it was um, about a hundred and I want to say it was $115. A gallon um, quite a bit Qu pretty pretty expensive um, I don't remember what brand it was a couple of them I think Lowe's sells but $115 for a gallon of paint holy cow okay anyways back to this sorry got distracted there for a moment Miranda mixed 34.5 fluid ounces of blue paint uh, 40.5 fluid ounces of red, two fluid ounces of black to make purple paint. She poured the same amount of purple paint into each of 14 jars. How much paint did she pour in each jar? Well, you're going to add those up, and what do you think you're going to divide by? You're going to divide by 14. Number one here, it says explain <coughs> Excuse me, what each of the quantities in the problem means. Oh, that's okay. Uh, well... <laughs> so 34.5, I'll just do the very first one here, 34.5, I'm going to put OZ for ounces, equals uh, the blue paint. And then you do the same thing for 40, and then the fl two fluid ounces in the 14 jars, because 14 is a quantity, okay? So you do that for each of those. Describe one way to solve the problem. Well, just go ahead and solve it one way, whichever way you want to solve it. You should know what to do. What is the solution to the problem? So after you solve it, put down the solution, explain. You don't really need to explain it because if you already described one way, which is what they're asking you to do in number two, one way to solve the problem, you've already described it. So that's kind of double duty there. You don't need to explain that. That's, that's kind of silly. I don't know. They, they do that a lot. All right, independent practice. Um, Sue made chicken soup by combining the entire can of soup shown with a full can of water. And how many 10 fluid ounces, ounce bowls can she fill with the soup? How much soup would be left over? Okay. Well, first off, one can looks like they've got it right here is 18.6 fluid ounces. So one can of soup and then another can, which would probably be another 18.6 six fluid ounces of just water. So you're gonna add those up then and what? Um, divide it by 10. And how much soup will be left over? 
explain what each of the quantities in the problem means. Well, again, um, so 18.6 ounces, actually I should put FL for fluid ounces, okay, equals uh, one can of soup. And then again, 18.6 fluid ounces equals one can of what? Water. Okay. And then what does the 10 ounces represent? That's the question is how many 10 ounce bowls can she fill? 10 ounces, that's not a very big bowl. Describe one way to solve the problem, okay? So here, we're doing that again. So describe how you solve it, however you want to do it. And then it says, what's the solution to the problem? Explain. You've already explained it. You've already explained it right above here in number five. <laughs> okay. And I think that's it. Was that it? Six, six, guided practice, independent practice. Oh, no, sorry. Problem solving. Um, or wait, is that the end of six, six? All right. I'm not sure now. Let me look. Yeah, okay, so problem solving. One more page for you guys. Lucas, Lucas's cooking class is having a cooking competition. There are six teams. Each student brought supplies that will be shared equally. Um, the table shows the supplies Lucas brought. Okay, if the supplies are shared equally among the teams, how much of each supply will each team get? Okay, well, you guys should be able to do this. Uh, make sense and persevere. Do you need all the information given above to solve the problem? Explain. Do you need all the information given above? So two sacks of flour, 4.5 pounds per sack. So you can't really divide the two by six, but you would probably do a 4.5, add that up twice or multiply it by two and then divide that by six because remember there's six teams and each team gets the same amount and then what do they have over here on the right side the price is that necessary at all do you need to know that information no this this absolutely doesn't matter the price so don't even worry about that so describe how to solve the problem write equations to represent how much each supply team will get i love how they they give you just this little bit of room here. <laughs> um, let's see here. And then finally, 10, what is the solution to the problem? Explain. Okay, again, you don't need to explain it because you're, you're walking through the steps here. So I think you guys can do that. And that's it. Um, we're going to wrap up Chapter 6, be doing some reviews for a couple days. And then, um, ooh, I should really give you guys the Chapter 6 test before break, before Thanksgiving break. That way you guys could just enjoy your break and not even have to worry about anything. So um, maybe Wednesday I'll make it available. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys later.